Good evening. Tonight we're going to make uh, pineapple chicken. Uh, some people call it teriyaki chicken. We call it pineapple chicken. I'm going to feed all six of us for less than eight dollars. Um, you're going to need uh, a few ingredients, but the biggest things that you're going to need that may or may not be in your house is you're going to need at least a pound of chicken thighs and a can of pineapple or a pineapple and some rice. The other ingredients are likely things that you have in the house. I'll go over those in a moment, but I'm excited. Uh, the chicken cost me $4.95, the rice cost 88 cents, and the pineapple cost $1.98. So I think it's like $7.81, and we're not even using all the rice. So we'll go from there, but let's heat up some pots. I'll show you what you need when we get there. Alrighty, this is what you're going to need. We're going to need some rice to serve it with. Uh, we're going to need a uh, chicken thighs because they're juicier, cornstarch, a can of pineapple or a whole pineapple, soy sauce, uh, EBOO or regular olive oil, some brown sugar and some honey. And out of that, we're going to make a very, very delicious meal for six people. Okay, let's get to cooking. Okay, we're going to start by cutting the chicken thighs into about one inch squares or pieces. Um, so these are still a little bit frozen. I still have to wash them off, but here's what we paid for them. $4.95 or four, yeah, $4.95. So let me just wash this off. I'll be right back. Okay, so they're all cut, they're all cut up, they're all washed up. I'm just gonna, and it's still a little bit frozen, but they'll thaw out as I'm cutting. I'm just gonna cut these up into cubes. Uh, how big or how little you want them is up to you. But these are all chicken thighs, because they're, they're juicier. But right about like that. So I'll dice these all up. Make good time of it. And then we'll get to cooking. All right, so we're coming down the home stretch here, cutting down this chicken. Okay, so they're, are they even sized? No, but they're basically about the size that I want. Just, just chunks, chunks, however big you want them. But some are bigger than others. It's, it's, it's really not going to be that different. It's just thin meat, so it'll cook, cook quickly. All right, so I'm going to put this. I found a bone in it. See a little bone? Yep. So be careful. Even in the bone list, there could be a bone in it. Okay, so I'm going to get this into here, wash my hands, and then we'll get to the cooking. Okay, so I want to show you what I'm doing. I had to take the pineapple um, because I didn't have pineapple chunks. Um, I'm using the pineapple rounds and I've done most of the can already. And basically all I'm doing is going chop, chop, just all the way around, making these a little on the small side. Like that, a little bigger than you would have. I like them smaller um, than, you know, the chunks that come in the can. Even in the canned chunk ones, I probably would have sliced them down just a little bit smaller because it's, it's a great big bite of pineapple when you get that whole piece of pineapple in your mouth. And I don't want it overpowering the rest of the food. Normally, I spin this as I'm cutting it. I don't know why I'm not doing it now. Um, just it cuts through the whole thing a whole lot easier. I'm sitting here talking, so I'm going slower so I don't catch my finger. Not like that hasn't happened before, but it has, unfortunately. 
So let's get to heating up the pan, heating up the pot. I got the juice reserved over here. Um, now the recipe th uh, that I'm giving you is, is for four servings. I have to make enough to feed six. So it may or may not need a little bit more of this or that. Like it definitely needed, you know, more chicken than I would for two people. But, you know, you saw, you saw the thighs that I had. I cut them all up, stuck them in this bowl. It was a little over a pound and a half of the thighs. Uh, so that's what I used. So we're just going to, everything is, whoops, scared me for a minute. I thought I, thought I touched a hot pan. Um, everything's going to be do, done in this one pot other than the rice, which is off camera. I'm going to move you over so that you can see. Just let us pause for a minute. All righty. Going to get that heat going, <clears throat> medium, medium high around there. Um, now, like I said, this is for four. I'm going to need just a little bit more to feed my family. So I'm going to give you the recipe, what it calls for, and then you adjust how you would like to for your family. Okay. So usually I go, you know, twice around the world. You know, I say that all the time. Um, this is just um, EVOO extra virgin olive oil. And for me, see how it only wants a tablespoon? That's what it calls for. I want a little bit more, okay? Because I don't want my chicken sticking, but I don't want a lot of oil there anyway. Just a, that was like a tablespoon and a half. But I really don't want much more than that because I don't want it. And this is the pound and a half of, of um, thighs. I like the thighs because they're moister. Is that a word? More moist. They are the moistest, whatever they are. They're something like that. <laughs> but um, I just want this to heat up a little bit. I'm sorry, I should have heated it up before I turned on the camera, but I didn't. So see, I just wanted enough that it, it coated the bottom of the pan. I don't want it sticking. So there's not a whole lot in there. This is a really big pan. I've had people tell me, it doesn't look like there's very much, but if you could see the size of this pan, it's like a pizza pan. It's huge. I love it. Um, use this fork to see if I could put a piece in here. Okay, that's good. I hear it. It's already starting to, yeah. It's all right. So we're going to put the chicken in. And we're going to brown it. Oh, I'm sorry. I think I covered the mic up. Sorry. Okay. So we're going to put it in the pan. And we're just going to brown it up until it's slightly brown. Um, I have a big piece of chicken right here. I don't know how I missed that piece, but okay. Thought I was pretty quite thorough. Couldn't figure out why I couldn't cut through its chicken. It was because I was cutting into the knife. That's funny. Oh, I just think it's pieces stuck together that didn't quite go through. All right. So I don't want to cut them too small because then they're going to turn into bits. And we don't want chicken bits. We want sweet and sour chicken. Not sweet and sour chicken. We're not making that today. Uh, sesame, not sesame chicken either. Teriyaki chicken, or my kids call it pineapple chicken. I know exactly what, what they mean when they say pineapple chicken. So we just want to brown them slightly. And as soon as they get to that slight brown, then we're going to start adding the ingredients. And really, it's just dump, 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 and go. It really is pan cooled down a little bit because I just stuck this chicken. Now I've had this chicken sitting out for quite some time because remember when I was cutting it, it was still frozen. I covered it and just let it finish the frosting on the counter. I know, terrible thing to do, but I did it. Um, it wasn't quite thawed. I tried to get it thawed out with a little bit of water, but when I started cutting it earlier, I realized, oh geez. So I just let it sit. 
wasn't cooking right away anyway. So there's no seasoning that has to go on here, no salt, no pepper, none of that. That's why I said a lot of this stuff you have in your house. You have honey, soy sauce, brown sugar, pineapple, and chicken. And then over here, a pot of white rice. Mine's just regular old instant white rice because that's what I had. Uh, and I didn't feel like making long green rice anyway. So luckily I had some of that. I know it's easy to make it in the Instapot, but if you see my other video, uh, for some reason that Instapot water thing me don't work out. So I have to give it a couple more tries before I feel more confident in um, going back and doing that. So let me let this brown and I'll be back. Okay, so it's simmering away and it's starting to, I don't know if brown's the right word, but cook. Okay, because I don't want it hard and crunchy, but I do want it cooked through. A lot of these pieces are already cooked through. Okay, and now it's time to start dumping everything in there. Um, Got to add the soy, which I told you was, how much did I tell you the soy was? Pop quiz, y'all. Were you listening in the beginning or not? Um, half a cup of soy. I haven't added anything extra yet. I may add it as I go but I'm not going to add it now unless I find out I need it. Um, quarter cup of honey. Now what I did with the honey, something you might want to know, hold on, I need to get something poured out. What I did with the honey is, I think it's broken, but I spray the inside of my uh, cup with just a little bit, yeah, it's crystallizing on me, I see it. I spray the inside, it was doing that when I did it, the inside of here with a little bit of um, vegetable spray, and that keeps the honey from sticking to uh, the sides of the pan. So, but I want to get all of the pieces. I think I have a little crack in that one. Okay. Now, it tells you to use uh, pineapples whole pineapples, and that really is cute, and I'll, uh, you'll see the presentation probably already. You've seen it if I put it up there, um, but they want you to do the pineapple. I did a can of pineapple. It's a lot of pineapple, but my kids, they like it. I'm using the back of this because I used it with the raw chicken already. I want to make sure there's plenty. See how that looks with all that in there. Save a taste or two for Eric because he likes plain pineapple. Okay, see that? And we're just going to keep adding the ingredients. Now, this is going to thicken. I'm not, don't have all the ingredients in yet, but I'm just trying to get it coated real good. Okay, it says uh, a quarter cup of brown sugar also goes in here. Now, I have a little bit extra in mine. I actually have a half a cup, but I'm not using it all. I'm just going to the two lumps in here, each of them is, is a quarter cup. But I have it here. I'm not putting it in because I want to taste it first before I go doubling up on anything. And a lot of things are to taste. Okay? So if you don't like the way it tastes, add a little more of this. If you don't like that, add some more of this and, and that. You know? And then we need a tablespoon of... Um, uh, baking powder. So a little bit stuck to the pan, but that'll help it with the, with the thickening. Okay, this is the easiest thing. I mean, do you think you can make that out of just that little bit of ingredients? And we're going to bring this, I guess that was too low because it stopped simmering. So now when you bring it back to a boil, and then you want to simmer it over medium low heat for about it says 10 to 15 on the recipe that I follow, but I'll tell you what, it's never taken me that long. Now, the reason I like to add extra soy and, and brown sugar is because I like the extra gravy that it makes. This, you can see that there's, there's gravy. I don't know if you can see or not. See the gravy floating around in there or juice? Well, we like extra juice because that thickens up and it clings to the chicken. And 
we like a little bit extra to put over our rice. So while this is cooking, I'll decide you know, how it's thickening if I'm going to put in the extra soy and brown sugar. But that's what we're going to do. We're going to simmer this for a few minutes. And like I said, this is the quickest, easiest, you don't feel like it day. And under $8 feeds six people. How much better can you get than that? So let me let this simmer and do its thing. Instead of watching me talk for 15 minutes, I'll come back when we're nearing the end. Plus, I have to put my hair up. I almost forgot. I added the extra pineapple in there. Um, when you're cooking with, with, a, with a whole pineapple, you're going to get all the juices and everything. But here we just got the pineapple. And this is pineapple in, in, in uh, not in heavy syrup, just in juice. So what I do is I just take a little bit and put it in there. I didn't want you to miss that part. But let's let this simmer down for a little bit, and then we'll show you what it looks like. All right, right when it gets to here, you'll see that it's bubbling quite, get a good, good rapid bubble. Hold on. See it, how it's bubbling in there? I'm just going to turn it slightly, because you want to bring it back to a boil. Then we're just going to turn it down just a little bit, and we're going to let it simmer. Because we want the flavors to incorporate with the chicken. We don't want it to thicken too quick. And with the pineapple. So we're not quite there yet, but we're getting closer. I mean, that's the worst you got to do is cut up some chicken and pineapples and throw it all in a pan. Woohoo! And I hadn't added anything extra. I still have the... The brown sugar that I didn't add because I want to taste it. I didn't add any extra soy sauce. The only thing I did was I threw the rest of the can of the pineapples in there with the sprig of juice. Okay, this is where I'm going to stop. Now, let me get a big spoon so you can see. The, the, um, um, sauce could get real thick and stuff. I don't want it too thick. The, th the longer you cook it, the thicker it's going to get. We like a little juicy juice with ours. We pour it over our bed of rice, and um, that's what I wanted you to see. Sorry about the microwave go. We're cooking some broccoli up there to go with it. Um, you could throw the broccoli in here, but they want it on the side. But we basically want it to look, you know, some people like it thicker. Afraid I'm going to burn myself. But we like it a little bit. A little bit juicier. So it's a thicker juice, but that's how we like it. Um, I got that so I can show it to you, but that's what I'm going to use to plate it up in that little bowl right there for the kids. But this is basically what we're going to do. We're going to eat this over a bed of rice with some broccoli. And Eric's circling around me over here because he's ready to eat. There we go. Came down because he said it smells good. All right, let's get to plating it up. All right, two puffs of rice, his chicken. There you go. He's about to get that. Here's mine. Looks kind of messy, but it's really tasty. You have got to taste this. All right, let's get to the taste test. All right, Eric, taste test time. Pineapple chicken, teriyaki chicken, whatever you want to call it. See how you like it. This is one of Eric's favorites. Well, he really likes everything I cook, but. Is that it? Mm-hmm. Did it hit the spot? It's really good. It's really, really good. And then we got Of course, broccoli. the broccoli's delicious. Broccoli's just steamed broccoli with some good, huh? Mm -hmm. All right. Well, there you have it, folks. The food critic has spoken. I'll be back for the wrap-up. Okay. So here's your wrap-up. That's it. No, I'm just kidding. They did have a serving spoon left. 
uh, that's all that was left over. And that still makes me feel good because there was some leftovers. That means their bellies are full. But there you have it. I hope you try it. I know you'll like it. Please like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Bye-bye.